Brian Thompson, who is setting up his video camera right now <laughs> so that we can immortalize this occasion. Immortalize Marcy White. <laughs> Brian Thompson is one of our new Toastmasters. He's working through the Competent Communicator Manual, which has 10 speech projects. This is speech project number three, get to the point. And in the manual, it describes what you have to do to make sure that your speech actually gets somewhere. That you probably all have experienced the opposite of that. And so Brian's gonna help us see how that's done today by demonstrating his skills in this particular category. One of the things I like about Brian as a speaker is that he's made it clear that one of his goals in life is to become a professional speaker. And he's willing to put in the work, what am I willing to do to move himself toward that objective. So I'd like you to welcome Brian Thompson to the lectern. He's going to be speaking today on using the most powerful tool in the world. Welcome, Brian. Thank you very much, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most honored guests. And yes, my third speech, as we strive to discuss what is the most powerful tool in the world, and using the most powerful tool in the world. And I can tell you that you, 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 can increase your motivation, your relationships, your desires, your goals. You can raise your self-esteem. You can achieve whatever you would like in life by doing one thing. What is the one tool that will help you to improve your life, reach goals, raise self-esteem, improve relationships, and to do so much more. After hearing my presentation today, I can assure you, you will not only know the answer to that question, but you will also have the inspiration to do so. And I can also share with you that the tool to use that is the most powerful tool in the world. And that is the tool to do those things. That tool is your mind. Yes, it is your mind. As Zig Ziglar says, you can change what you are, and you can change where you are when you change what goes in your mind. And as Brian Tracy says, you become what you think about most of the time. Therefore, the question is, what do you think about most of the time? And as wise King Solomon says, <clears throat> safeguard practical wisdom and thinking ability. They are life to your soul and charm to your throat. So what do most people think about? They think negatively. They many times think in a negative way. They lack vigor, also known as innervate. They struggle. I, I personally happen to innervate in another way. No, I don't innervate with the E in. I innervate with the I in in E R. That innervate means to communicate with nervous energy. <laughs> Some, E-N-E-R-V-A-T-E, -E, they lack vigor. <laughs> but in some cases, we will take both. But they will blame others for their problems. They think about their problems. They think about how, what can I do to get rid of my problems. But they don't think about their future. They don't think about how to improve themselves, how to reach goals, and things such of that nature. And the reason of that, many professionals say it is because of our self-limiting beliefs our self-limiting beliefs. We can change that, and we must, and we can do so. And we can do so easily. In fact, we can do so right now. Simply think of one thing, please, that you would like, that you would really, really like, and it must be practical, and you must really want it. And think of what are the many reasons why you would really want 
that one thing. If the reasons are enough, and if they are great enough, you can achieve it. That's the power of the mind. Then think about how do I go about achieving it? What people, what knowledge, what activities, what steps, what is needed? And you can do it, you are on your way. Yes, Stephen Covey, in his number one national bestseller, world famous book, The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People, habit number one is be proactive. In other words, our thoughts. Not without blaming, without, uh, uh, yeah, without blaming, we simply use our mind to decide of what we're going to do, and we do it. We take responsibility. Yes, the power of the mind. And as Norman Vincent Peale said, he talks much about the power of positive thinking. Therefore, without a question, without a shadow of doubt, we can use the most powerful tool in the world. We can use it to increase relationships, to improve our life, to reach our goals, to uh, achieve whatever it is that we would like. And therefore, I say to you, change your thoughts, and you will change your life. And, as, and I also will tell you, the world is yours, and a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Do not waste yours. Use it to achieve what you would like. Thank you very much. Madam Tessman. Thank you, Brian. You'll notice on your tables there are some little sheets of paper like this. If you would like to offer an evaluation or encouragement, and there's some on the back table as well if, if I missed some of the tables, to one of the speakers today, please do write them a note and give them a few comments to encourage them along their journey. And that would be for any speaker, our prepared speakers, as well as the ones coming up.